Hey, it's Dr. Trish Lee from the Neurofeedback Expert Program. In conclusion, I want to wrap up what the Neurofeedback Expert Program is about. It's easy. To be able to attract the right patients and keep them, you need to treat your neurofeedback healthcare practice as a business that you love and provides a lot of love to people. And what do I mean by that? It's the show. My husband and I call it the show, and we mean that lovingly. So what we wanna do is give people the best level care that makes them feel better and perform better and give them a great experience while we're helping them. So it's like Starbucks. When you go to Starbucks, what do you expect? You expect a great cup of coffee. You expect to pay $5.50 for it. And that's a high level price for a cup of coffee. You may have to drive past 20 McDonald's to get there, but you like the service, you like the experience, and you love the coffee. So you are going for a great product and a great experience. So back in the day, I owned restaurants. And when I really kind of put my heart into my neurofeedback practice, it's because I realized I needed to treat it like my restaurants. I needed to teach people what I'm about and then really use some techniques to draw them in with love, of course. So it's like a restaurant. I like a neurofeedback practices to a restaurant. My husband and I went out in Hilton Head Island the other night to a lovely restaurant called Sage Room. I knew nothing about it, but by the pictures, I could tell that it was my vibe. By the brief descriptions online, I could tell it was probably for me. And my hubby and I went over. I assumed they'd probably need a reservation. I was hoping because it's kind of like a haircut. I like waiting a month for someone to cut my hair because I know they're gonna do an awesome job if they have a month waiting list. Um, but when we got there, conveniently, there happened to be a table that just opened up because someone didn't make the reservation. So we were able to order dinner. It cost, it cost us you know, a pretty penny in most people's uh, books, but we like paying for a really awesome dinner. We sat by the fireplace. It was a beautiful experience. Our food was great. Our drinks were great. Everything was great. And of course we have six children. So having a night out at the beach is just fantastic for us. And we were willing to pay for it because we value it. That is what you want to create in your neurofeedback practice. Those are the people you want to draw to you. And then you need to give them the show. So remember that when you're moving through your processes, think, am I providing the highest level of care to, to my peeps? If you're not, rethink it and improve it. Am I providing a great experience? If you're not, rethink it and improve it. Okay, one last slide so we can culminate what the neurofeedback expert experience is about. So stay tuned, it's a quick one, and we'll wrap it up so we can change brains, improve lives, and make money doing it.